was like, no. Hi. Hi. I don't work here. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, I don't work here. <laughs> She's like, I don't know her. <laughs> I don't know. Her. <laughs> I don't know. Her. <laughs> <laughs> back home the clip that you guys saw earlier was from this place in brooklyn for my friend um annabelle's birthday and then my friend matt is leaving everlane for bigger and better things so yeah that was that i also wanted to just jump on and talk to you guys i haven't been vlogging life has been a little crazy i've been a little out of it um just a little stressed about things so I think I've been focusing on just trying to get my life together and making some decisions and things like that um, oh I lost my phone on Thursday night I, I didn't film any I don't think I filmed any of it but basically on the walk home I lost my phone so yeah thank god I found it it was this whole ordeal but someone picked it up I basically saw a rat and I ran and my phone was in a pocket and my mom always tells me not to put things in. Moms are always freaking right, you guys. And I dropped my phone. I didn't realize it, even though my beats disconnected. I don't know, I kept walking for some odd reasons. I got home and I realized my phone was gone. So then I had to go outside and try and find it. This good Samaritan lady helped me by letting me use her phone. We called my phone, eventually the guy picked up. Like, it took about an hour, I didn't get home until like 2.30. But I found my phone, I'm so thankful. There's this guy named Zach and he lives near me, so it was just crazy. But I'm so glad he picked it up and gave it back to me. And that was really sweet. So there are some good people out there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Lots of ups and downs as of late. But that's okay. I'm just trying to stay positive and keep it moving but just working through some things in my head at the moment and trying to figure out what's best for me and I'm exhausted you guys I'm exhausted I truly feel like I am surviving but not living so just trying to figure out a way to truly live and align myself with my goals and passions and things I want to achieve and what are the best decisions for me to do that and that's kind of why I've stepped away from the camera a bit but I'm not saying goodbye forever Anyhow. just got back from Trader Joe's actually hanging out with my friend Amelia from Everlane so I wanted to show you guys I shot had clips of that we just hit, sat in a coffee shop and chatted um, I was late per usual but what matters is that I made it anywho let's see what I got from Trader Joe's I went in saying I was gonna get two things came out with all this stuff I got bananas I got some avocados dried mango jasmine rice coconut milk because I'm going to make coconut shrimp rice. I got these Madelines. You guys know I love Madelines. These were the, whoa. These were the death of me in college, you guys. Like, and these are spiced pumpkin ones. So I can't wait to have this when I break fast today. So excited. And I got a baguette, a dummy baguette for um, avocado toast, some butter for my baking. I got some pizza dough, this herb garlic and herb a lot of the time this is out whenever i go to um trader joe's so i thought i'd grab it when i saw it and then i got pizza sauce and i got shrimp for coconut shrimp rice so that's pretty much it from trader joe's hashtag health and then i got these danish butter cookies from marshall's y'all know these are my favorite i don't know actually if you do and then i got some mascara because i'm running out I got the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt from L'Oreal Paris. 
It's really cool. What sold me was the fact that it said it's height lines. And then I got this Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca. Such a cool color in Prosecco Pop. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've gotten. Also, I got this basket from Goodwill, and I use it for veggies and things like that. I made avo toast this morning. I don't know what's wrong with these eggs. Um, they're looking like they're struggling, so yeah. Don't ask me what's wrong, because I don't know either, and I agree, they look like they're struggling. But I'm going to go grab and do some morning routine stuff. I'll see you guys next clip. Bye update you guys i got caught in the rain on the way home there was like thunder and all this stuff it was crazy i f i dozed off on the train for the second time in the last four days and missed my stop and i didn't realize until wait two stops away after so then i had to wait an extra like 15 minutes for the train to come back down it was really sucky I came home and just had some pizza and i watched karen britchick's vlog of when she went to everlane and we lost her freaking shoes Ugh. I felt so horrible <laughs> like and what had happened was someone else named Karen was also buying the same shoes in a different size and that's why hers got lost but she was so pleasant about it even in her videos and so I was like oh my god Ugh. and you guys know I love anything to do with the royal family and I'm watching this thing called queen of the world and it's so good I absolutely love it also just thinking about things thinking about similarities and things and it just like makes me smile anyway i just want to update you guys it's late in the morning and tomorrow i'm gonna go see my grandma and i haven't seen my grandma since i was like 12 or 13 since i was 13 so 12 years ago i'm gonna go see her tomorrow she is so sprightly i called her like at nine something today and she was like five and five <laughs> which basically means like this is what you gonna call me and i was like she's like i'm about i was like why are you going to sleep and she's like yes actually i was about to <laughs> she's so funny even though she's like um like up there in age she's just like sharp as a tack um so yeah i'm really excited to see her I'm gonna put this pizza in the oven for tomorrow and just go and finish this episode of Queen of the World. <laughs> this afternoon and that was crazy i haven't seen her in like 12 to 13 years and she is 82 and super sprightly and just just what i want to be like when i'm 82 um just great i loved it anywho i also had my first tutoring session with or trial tutoring session with this family that I might start tutoring for because a girl needs to figure out a way to make some monies. I think it went decently. It's just such an interesting sort of method of teaching that I'm helping her with. So I'm kind of like not super confident because they do Exeter math, which is just like problems. And there's not really a textbook. So I have to just kind of like know things or like help her find the information that she needs to solve whatever she's trying to solve so it's like a working together sort of thing it's just weird um but this session went well i could help her with all her problems but i'm just worried that like i won't be able to at some point anyway yeah so my grandma ugh, made my day she's so cute oh i love her so much and it's so nice to hug her and be like hi grandma I'm like touch her you know just that's great 12 years later <laughs> oh my god just got this in the mail you guys know i love giselle so i can't wait to read this i'm having a day you guys i'm just really stressed and just really having a hard time finding reasons to keep pushing tbh it's hard out here it's really hard I just feel like I've been vibrating on a lower frequency since like 
the middle slash beginning of September. I think it's really starting to affect me and there's just so much that I'm like stressed about and like unsure about and that could like just affect my life in a lot of ways like and I just really am at a loss I don't know what to do um but I'm gonna keep pushing and try to keep positive and just keep the strength but it's hard it's hard folks it's hard when it sucks like because it seems like when it rains it just pours like it truly just freaking pours so yeah i'm just gonna i don't know end it at that i'm supposed to go have dinner with some friends later but i'm fasting and i'm gonna break fast soon here and i'm gonna eat as much as i can here so i don't have to like buy food because i don't got money to be buying food I just, I'm struggling. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a much better day than I am whenever you're watching this and wishing you guys lots of good vibes. Is this a video? Yeah, it's a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. It always happens. It always, always. Will you have camera on me? I want camera on you. Got it on ya. Say cheese. Cheese. Which button is it? Oh, it's all, it's a video. Oh. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> you guys what the clip you guys saw earlier was with the little girl that's Ashley's little sister and I was taking care of her today for a bit in the afternoon she's such a pleasure such a precious little girl oh so then I went to my friend's housewarming party in Brooklyn I thought I didn't bring my camera lo and behold my camera was in my bag the whole time oh her apartment is so nice Super new construction in Flatbush. And I also got these aftershave things from the art of shaving that she had. Like she had extra things. So she was giving them away. So I'm gonna try these for whenever I like shave my legs, which is not that often. Anywho, I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go cleanse my face and do my Alpha H overnight and then go to bed. Cause yeah, I'm tired. Safely, we fly to back action here at Craft Field at Weed Stadium on Saturday after recording at the Thanos Dartmouth at 1 30 p.m. Every single clip. <laughs> it's the dance now. <laughs> Watching Kevin Gets Live, and I'm freaking out. He's so amazing. Watched his um, interview with Sway. So good. A financial roller coaster, and it brings with it tremendous peace of mind. So let's jump into a demonstration. Let's take a quick look at these first two rules in action. J JC at a, at a football game. What? What? The, the first one. Second. No, second home coming. Oh, second. In the eight years I've been tied to Columbia. <laughs> All right. Whoa, well, you're eight. <laughs> okay. I stand corrected. Second one. <laughs> We're currently not winning, but that is okay. Also, Juan is here. <laughs> and Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> we may have lost, but we're still in New York, so it's okay. Hey, <laughs> 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 
I wanted to, but you guys left. Thank you. Boo. You're welcome. You it was, I say it's a tie. It's a tie. She took the inside, but it didn't start further back. That's real. I'm done. That's Marcellus Wiley over there, you guys, and he just signed our books. And I didn't vlog it because I'm a supreme vlogger. But Kareem got photos. Hey. hey. Hold on. So, like photo evidence, though. Photo evidence. <laughs> He said I looked young. It was a compliment. <laughs> oh. I've taught you well not to take photos. <laughs> I'm dead. Nah, I'm my dead. job has always been for years. I've been wanted to close it off and say, hey, I'm alive. I'm okay. Could be better, will be better. Um, and I'm sending you guys lots of, of love, laughter, and positivity because you absolutely deserve it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that before you leave this video. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Answer my question down below. Chat with me. Be my friend. Um, yeah. And if I'm not on here, always follow me on Instagram because I update that regularly um, or more regularly than this. So you guys can keep up with me there if that's something that you're interested in. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Lots of love. Bye. Come now, follow my lead.